This is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to a sort of a mini comic book haul. Okay, as you might know, I'm sort of on a major budget right now, so my comic book funds are at a minimum. So I'm not really too actively searching online to be able to buy comic books, right? But I am keeping track of a couple of sellers, what they're putting out and whatnot. One of them is in Ontario and another one is a local comic book store that on a semi-regular basis puts comics on their on their site to sell sometimes they put a lot sometimes they put one or two and just recently they had a whole bunch of comics that they listed and I was able to grab a handful basically 10 of them for dollar twenty dollar forty a dollar to two dollars three dollars a pop right the total cost of the comic book haul was $14.66 Canadian. And that comes out to, we can do a, just a direct, uh, what do you call it? Just use online just to see what the conversion is. So $14.66 Canadian comes out to $11.09 US comic book haul so dollar 10 us a pop because there's 10 comic books here and he is local so i just went and picked it up so there is no shipping cost right and i was sort of i was scavenging right and that's one thing you can do when you go to a comic book store when you go into a dollar bins you're sort of scavenging or when you're buying online you can just scavenge right especially if the person has a lot of expensive comics up so people spend their money for the expensive stuff so you can lowball <laughs> low some of the other things right so i ended up grabbing these ones and there's a couple of well they're all fantastic comics i love them happy to have them in my collection um but there's one major key issue in here okay so let me crack this open it's just in a paper bag right and uh, I'll tell you what these comics are as we pull them out. Okay. I have a couple of bids, uh, actually more than a couple of bids on some of the other comics that he has up. And if we end up getting them, um, <laughs> fingers crossed, <laughs> we'll follow this up with another mini comic book haul. Okay. So let's pull these out. Let's check this out. Let me put these guys, let me group these. <laughs> okay, check this out. Here, I'll give you, I'll show you these two guys first. Okay, because they kick into the key one. Now, here is, check this out. Okay, I grabbed Amazing Spider-Man. Let me pull him up as well. What I ended up grabbing. I got Amazing Spider-Man 330 in mint condition. Okay. For $1 Canadian, which is basically 75 cents US. Okay. And the artist for this is Eric Larson. This is two issues. Um, I believe Todd McFarlane's last issue was Amazing Spider-Man. Uh, on Amazing Spider-Man run, the first run that he did was uh, 328, right? And then Eric Larson picked up as the main artist um, for Amazing Spider-Man after from 329, and this is 330, the second issue, I believe, that he was a main artist on, okay? So dollar for Amazing, Sp Amazing Spider-Man 330, nice buy, mint condition, pretty good, bagged and boarded brand new bag and board right and i also picked up amazing spider-man 331 by eric larson again the artwork i forget who the uh the writer for this was uh, i have it uh, bookmarked here so the writer the is david uh michelini and i don't know david Mich michelini you know i don't know what else he's done but eric larson is pretty big okay he uh, and again this was a dollar so 75 cents US bagged and boarded right and his Punisher appearances 
obviously, of course. So glad to have these. I, I actually don't know if I have these in my collection. I think I do. But for a dollar, you can't pass this up, right? So that's two of them. And one of the main reasons I picked that up is because I picked up another book by Eric Larson. Okay, ready for this one? <laughs> Let me tell you. Okay, I'll show it to you first and I'll tell you what I got it for, right? Megaton, number two. Okay, this is Eric Larson. There's a whole bunch of us, uh, sort of an anthology with different people on it. Let me read you who are the people that are working. Wow, there's a whole bunch of people working on this. But the main one where that I grabbed this for uh, was because of Eric Larson's work, right? And the script is by Eric Larson and Gary Carlson, right? So Megaton number two, because this is the first appearance of the Savage Dragon. I believe it was called the Dragon, and I don't have this in my collection. It's also the first appearance, or I believe it's a cameo of Mega Man, okay? And this thing, <laughs> let me tell you the condition it's listed at, okay? And he's, this guy's a good grader. He's, he actually, uh, I found out when I, when I picked up the book, he actually teaches a course at a local university on comic books. Our local university has a degree you can get on comic books, right? And he teaches one of those courses. He's one of the main instigators or people in charge of the whole program, right? So he's pretty good at grading comics. He knows his comic book history. He's been around for 35 years or something this comic book store that he has right so this book graded at very fine right very fine straight up first appearance of savage dragon first appearance of uh, well the information says anyway the debut of mighty man so i'm, ass I'm assuming it's one page okay and i picked it up for a dollar canadian <laughs> so 75 cents us bagged and boarded okay now should we take a look at this because i haven't seen this i haven't seen the first appearance of savage dragon and savage dragon is uh eric larson's sort of main character that he created and it's the second longest as far as i know second longest series from Image Comics, Spawn being the first one, and Savage Dragon is the second one. Okay, so let me crack this open. Because this is in very fine condition, I'm gonna be pretty careful with this. Okay, it's a black and white anthology. Oop. Let me do this like this. And let me show it to you. Nice. Fantastic comic, right? Take a look, take a look. Right. Let me go this way. You gotta be careful with this, right? <laughs> Ever seen anyone handle a dollar seventy-five cent thing so so preciously? <laughs> right? Fantastic. Let me give you a front cover look. It's very fine maybe i would give it very fine minus i might be a little bit stricter on this but no maybe very fine minus i would give this an 8 8.5 okay which is very fine <laughs> nice <laughs> this isn't the savage dragon savage dragon one is the i believe it's the second one but this is the type of comic we're talking about okay and this thing came out in 1985 right so it's a mid 80s independent comic book series and i believe eric larson's um megaton da, 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 da. there it is vanguard story story uh vanguard story by gary carlson i believe that's the one with the savage dragon so let me flip through this <laughs> nice <laughs> megaton is back awesome very happy to have these as you know i love these mid uh 80s 
late 70s, 70s, 80s, and 90s independent comic books, right? Um, two of the main, two of the comic books that we really started reading, doing readings for, one of the six first comic books that we ever, ever read were primary number two and number five with the first appearance of, um, awesome, with the first appearance of the like, with the first appearance of uh, Grendel and the Max, right? And they're sort of the same style, anthology. Let's check it out. Is that the Savage Dragon? Where are we? Where are we? There he is, there's the Savage Dragon. Awesome. Take a look at this. What rocks you? Cool, that's over. Here's the Savage Dragon. Take a look at this. I've never seen the first appearance of Savage Dragon. There he is. Take a look. Let me do this carefully, gang. Take a look. Nice. Nice. <laughs> nice. Oh my god, don't do that. I'm getting too excited. No, it's okay. We didn't do any damage. Call it uh, um, a dragon before. I believe we're not going to read it right now. I just want to show it to you. Here's Megaton. Look at the artwork. Absolutely beautiful, right? And this isn't Eric Larson anymore. This is uh, I forget who it is. Fantastic. So that's the first cameo appearance of Savage Dragon, right? Awesome. We get one panel. We're gonna to go to the end and see if we can find. Let's flip through this. Let me see if I find anything else that is this megaton splash page is fantastic. Hey, sorry, I pulled it away from you guys super fast, but beautiful. Artwork for this Megaton uh, artist is Clark Hawbaker. Clark Hawbaker. I don't know Clark Hawbaker, but I love this type of style of artwork. Take a look. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Like seriously. Very nicely done. It's very reminiscent, reminiscent of the crow, right? Crow number one that we read. Very much so. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, wow. Okay, Megaton just hit my radar to pick up the whole series. Uh, look at this. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Wow, wow, wow. I love finding new new artists and Check out this. Oh, let me find you. I don't know what the artist for this is, but it's cool. Very, very mid 80s indie. This is a different artist doing the work, different story, anthology, right? This is a different artist again. There's someone else. Cool. So we got a cameo. First appearance of Savage Dragon. 
referred to as dragon, I believe. Okay. We got artists that we didn't know existed. Take a look at this. This is like aliens. Take a look at that. There's a whole bunch of people in this in this anthology, so where is Mega Man? Coming soon, Berserker. Bye, monkey. <laughs> also, let me check out the back cover. Check out the back cover. Nice. Mega Man was the first uh, story, I believe. I didn't really follow Mega Man. Eric Larson's is. Mega Man appears in Eric Larson's uh, Savage Dragon. I read a little bit of Savage Dragon. It's beautiful. Here's a cover again. And then we're going to just, I'm going to show you the first couple of pages of Eric Larson's uh, artwork again with uh, Vanguard and Eric Larson. Yeah, that is it. Oh, look at this splash page. Okay. Well, at some point, I think we'll have a read through this. I like the Megaton. I might try to get my hands on Megaton number one. Okay. Because that looks fantastic. Yeah. Nice. A dollar. 75 cents US. Very happy to have this. Very happy to have this. There's a, a lot of first appearances, cameo appearances and stuff that were that were made in uh, in comic books in the mid in the 1980s. Uh, the 1980s is, was a fantastic period for comic books, really. Uh, and obviously, 1990s was extremely interesting, extremely interesting. Okay, let me show you these ones. Okay, it's a set. It's a set. What do we got? Nice. We have five issues of Sergio Aragonas. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Gru the Wanderer. Okay. This series ran for 120 issues, okay? And the later issues were low print run because they were being canceled and stuff like this, right? So the later issues are more expensive to get, right? I was able to get from issue number 112 to 116, right? And I got all of these for a dollar Canadian a pop, bagged and boarded. So 75 cents US a pop, right? And he had, uh, the seller had all the way up to 120 listed, but 120 went, up, went for a premium price. Not premium price, it was a fairly good deal, but above my budget anyway. So did, you know, 110, 111, and 117, 18, and 19. He also had those up as well, but they went for much more than a dollar. <laughs> so if I was spending a dollar on these, I wasn't going to go crazy on the other ones, right? So let me show you the covers. And Sergio Aragonés is, uh, he's known for Gru the Wanderer, and he's, one of the, he's been one of the main artists for Mad Magazine, right? This is number 112. Beautiful. If you've never read Gru, read Gru. It is one of the awesomest characters ever created, right? Very happy <laughs> happy comic books but it's it's hilarious it is so funny and that's his sidekick the this this guy right here and his sidekick is smarter than <laughs> the group right the humor is slapstick but it's also very intelligent right the grew the wanderer is fantastic one thing i'm gonna buy either singles of the whole series or the collection of the whole, whole series and read the whole thing uh, because it is fantastic, right? This one's 114. They're sort of sequential. I put them in order. Okay. 
Here's 115. And Guru made its uh, first appearance in uh, Duck, uh, number one, Savage Duck, Strange Duck, oh, DuckTales? No, not DuckTales. <laughs> something, something Duck. Destroyer Duck. Destroyer Duck, I believe number one, is the first appearance of Guru the Wanderer. Okay. I don't have a map that in my collection. I will get it at some point. But as far as I'm concerned, Guru comics are pretty cheap. Number one goes for sort of a more of a premium price. Guru the Wanderer, number one. But Destroy Duck number one, I believe, is the first appearance of Guru the Wanderer. Okay. And this was 116. Okay. Fantastic. Now, the two most expensive comics I got, I got in this haul. They were more than a dollar, right? Anything more than a dollar would have been expensive relative to what I got, right? These next two comics, okay, and Guru the Wanderer, these things came out in uh, 1994. All the Gurus came out in 1994. Megaton came out in 1985, okay? Amazing Spider-Man 330 and 331 came out in 1990, okay? These two comics are from the Silver Age. They came out in 1968, and they're Nick, Nick Fury, Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D., number six and number seven. Okay. I don't have these in my collection. Now, the reason I picked these up, because the covers of these, well, because they're fantastic. From what I understand, it's a fantastic, fantastic series, right? I might have read one or two issues here and there, but I've never sat down and binged on it okay but the covers for these are done by jim Stra i want to pronounce this correctly jim stranko okay and both of these covers the inside pages are not done by jim but the covers these are i believe the last two covers could be the last two covers that he did for uh, nick fury agent of shield okay he did the pencils the inside work for Number one to four, I believe. Uh, ba -ba 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 -da 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 -da. He did the inside covers. Did I mark this? I did. Strange Tales number uh, 151 to 153. He did the work on Jack Kirby's layouts. That's what it said. Number 154 to 165. Not 168. Odd number covers from 19. Ba -ba -ba. And the Nick Fury, he did the inside work, the inside work from number one, two, three, and number five. And he did the covers for number four, six, and seven. Okay. Let me give you a nice close-up of this. Beautiful work. Beautiful work. And he's a very important, one of the important artists from that period. There was a few of them, but... He's very stylistic, and he did some work later on for movies, I believe for Raiders of the Lost Ark and <laughs> Bram Stokes' Dracula, some stuff I read, right? Just beautiful covers, right? This one's really reminiscent of uh, Salvador Dali, eh? That's the feel it gives us. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful, right? And that's the main reason I picked up these two. Oh yeah, let me tell you the prices on these. They were expensive relative to the other ones, right? 100, 100 200% more, 300% more, right? <laughs> Number six, this one is graded at very good. Came out in 1968 and I paid $2.91 for this 291 Canadian for this which comes out to a little bit over two dollars uh, 210 US I can tell you exactly what it is all I have to do is sort of go to eBay and change dot CA to dot com right Boop. and it does a conversion so 219 US right Nick Fury agent of shield number six graded very good and number seven tell you what this one is too 
Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. This one I paid three twenty-five Canadian, which comes out to which comes out to two forty-five US graded at very good. Stranko. Jim Stranko covers. Okay. That's my comic book haul. Total of fourteen dollars and sixty six cents Canadian. Glad to have these in my collection. And the only ones I've I've have in my collection, I'm pretty sure, but I'm not hundred percent sure, that's why I grabbed them as well, and they were a great deal. Uh is the amazing Spider-Man uh, 330 and 331. Megaton I know I don't have and I don't have these later issues of Gru. I do have uh I might have number one, I doubt it. Uh but I have, you know, some of the earlier issues of Gru the Wanderer. Uh fantastic series and I read a lot of Gru uh through Mad magazine, right? And we got Nick Fury, Agent of Shield, Agent of Shield six and seven. Right. That's it for now. If I end up picking up any more uh <laughs> scrounge around uh sort of try to get things at an amazing deal right to fit my budget and still satisfy my craving to increase my collection and get my hands on some amazing books wow 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 <laughs> i'll definitely show you guys if i end up picking up anymore okay thanks for watching and i'll see you guys hopefully in the next comic book haul video sooner rather than later and definitely in the next video okay bye for now